Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so I decided to take yesterday off. And, yeah, I kind of want to take today off, too. But I think today we'll cover two projects. Yeah, my content queue is starting to thin out yet again. Right, as long as I do these two videos today. And... Uh, before I go on, I just want to say, yeah, I, uh, thanks for replying back, politely, I should add, about the suggestion thing about ti more titano forks, etc., etc. Yeah, I mean, it just came off, I mean, I just, just, just generally don't like, you know, what that just eventually, uh, you know, generates, because then everyone else is going to see that and then start telling me what to do, too, you know, it's like, you know, and, and then it just, and, and then it actually becomes a problem, so... Uh, it's just the best thing to do is to just simply suggest a project, right? If I see enough, if I if I see it and I quickly check it out, and it doesn't look like a scam, right? At least not at first. You know, I'll add it to the queue. You know, just, that's just all you have to do is just 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 add something to the thing. Cause I don't, I try not to cover just random projects, all right? Because that's a great way to to get scammed. So you know, I have standards, right? You know, I clearly have standards. So you know, that's why you know. I guess some other YouTubers, like, will just cover whatever, right? But that's, like, insane to me. I mean, you need to make consistent money, not not, not pump and dumps, right? You can you can use the projects I cover as pump and dumps, and I'll probably do okay, right? But, you know, scam risk is already pretty high in this space, so I'd rather just not deal with that, you know? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I will... I would like to cover more Titano forks, so that's why I need people to suggest them in like the comments, because that's, that's that's much more useful to everybody. Because I can't be everywhere. And I got my own things to do too. In fact, today is gonna be a very busy day for me. I, I don't want to say what it is, but I got a lot of shit to do today. And on top of that, after taking a look at this, because obviously I'm about to do the video on Ring Financial, right? It's been out now for what? Basically 14. It's been out for two weeks, basically. You know, I actually want to like. You know, I keep hearing about these stupid Seifu forks, so I'm like, you know what, it's obviously a proven concept, I don't care that it, the, AP well, I do care the APY goes down after a year, but you know what, I'll just buy a little bit and then whatever, you know, I, I just don't care, right, it's like 15, 30 bucks, like, you know, I spend more money, you know, on my bills, by far, so I can put in a little, a literal, like, throwaway money, <clears throat> alright, so, a couple of things about Ring Financial, I did try getting the, this pink sale, right, the, the, the pre-sale sold out instantly. Like, we're talking 10 seconds, right? I was so pissed off. <laughs> All right, and then in disgust, I left the Discord on follow the... Well, I, didn't, I didn't even follow the Twitter, and then I just left. I was like, you know, fuck, fuck this shit project, right? So anyway, it's been two weeks. Basically, it has not rug pulled, right? And, they, and according to their Discord, that I took a quick look at... Actually, I, let, I just left it, right? Because I don't want the stupid spam, yeah. They say that the, this liquidity is locked for six months. They didn't provide a link, but I suppose you could just take a look yourself. Uh, but as you can see, the price actually has been pretty good. Right after the initial launch day of March 10th, I can't believe it's already been two weeks. Basically, it went. You could basically have gotten somewhere around the two dollar and sixty cent mark up to the next day, March 11th, where it went up a little bit, as high as almost four dollars, like three dollars and sixty seven cents. Right, and then now it's going straight up. So, and what I like about this is the price seems actually pretty reasonable from the bottom. Right, it keeps going up and up and up, and then dips. Right, profit taking. So now that this video is coming out, I mean, I'm personally just gonna put in like a little bit of money, and then of course it'll probably tank, right? Because that's what always happens. But you know, maybe you want to wait a little bit, or maybe you don't want to wait. I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. So you know, I just put this out there, and you decide what you want to do with it. And I tell you what I'm personally going to do. All right, so this is basically their pink sale. They had their KYC and audited it. Uh, and they have a bunch of KYC and audits from like all these weird places, so whatever. Uh, their taxes are 14% buy, of course, and sell percent is 16% slippage. And of course, this is on Binance Smart Chain. Right? You can see it up here, BSC, or if you really want to check out their you know, contract, I tried looking for the contract code, so I tried r reading, it's like, how do I read this, like, there used to be a way I could actually look at the contract code, oh, I, I could just read it, but if I click somewhere, I could actually see the code, because I want to see the code, I don't think it's right, oh, maybe it's under right contract, uh, increase a lot, yeah, this, this wouldn't, uh, renounce ownership, 
Because the thing I was really looking for was... Because their documentation is garbage. It doesn't have anything in there. I already looked at this. I actually spent like 5-10 minutes going through all this shit. I cannot find out if... A, this has a maximum cap. And then B, is the APY always going to be... Uh, what is it? 392,000 whatever. Right? <clears throat> Alright, three... My god, this is, well, I have to write this whole thing out. Also, I just realized, am I putting the percent sign in the wrong place? Because I could have sworn us... Because I've been putting the percent sign at the beginning of the digit, because that's usually what you do, right? So, I don't know. Oh, well. Anyway, it's 392.5k a year. Um, okay, and then I... Because usually in the other ring or seifu forks, essentially, that I've been, you know, covering, the very few that I have, uh, they usually tell you a maximum supply and the APY drops after a year. But with that being said, if you put in, like, in fact, we'll just take a look uh, very soon. Actually, I guess we'll do it now. If I put in, like, ring amount, uh, oh, so I probably have to put, like, let's say I bought 10 of these. This is going to cost me $154. Uh... Okay, so basically by the time the APY drops, and I personally think what will happen is RingFi will, and really I all say Foo Forks, like once their APY drop is actually about to come in, you'll see a giant dump on the coin. And that's probably what I would do, as I would also dump the coin too. Or at least get rid of most of it, right, and just take all this profit. So potential return, yeah, so for 154 bucks after 365 days, if I literally don't ever do anything with it, in one exact year, I can have like $605,000. So I'm pretty sure the Federal Reserve and central banks will keep, uh, you know, hyperinflating the money supply, devaluing, you know, the dollar. Of course, your central banks will be doing the same thing, all right, except maybe for like, you know, Pakistan, maybe China and Russia, basically, and I, well, Iran doesn't have a central bank, which is why we're at war with them, uh, but, but basically, all the non-globalist countries, right, the, you know, wait, all the globalist countries, for sure, you know, they're going to continue doing what all the other central banks are doing, which is, you know, deflate their money supply and shit, wait, deflate, no, hyperinflate, yeah, let me try to get the terminology right, basically, Whatever your currency is is going to become wor uh, worthless a lot faster, you know. So, and and, and this is part of the re and this is the exact reason why, right? Because why do you, where do you think this money actually comes from, right? Where it goes from this to this in in any market, generally speaking, right? Especially the stock markets, right? I think today should be a pullback. It's not even pulling back that much, which is insane to me. So what does this mean, right? I mean, where, where, where does all that money come from? It comes from the fact that the your currency is going down in value. So it's not that the crypto is getting more valuable, though it kind of is. It's because it takes more dollars to buy the same thing, right? That's what inflation is, right? A loaf of bread costs three dollars by tomorrow, and now costs ten dollars. It's still the same exact loaf of bread with the exact same ingredients and quantity, but it takes more paper shit dollars to buy it, you know? So. So that's basically what we're trying to take advantage of, right? So we don't, so that the central banks work hard for you and me and not against us, which is what's basically happening. And then everyone over the taxes, you can see the breakdown of the taxes. And aside from that, I mean, I'm confusing this with another Seifu fork I think that I've covered before, right? And they had this exact same thing. Basically, it's like a kind of nice copy and paste of whatever other project they had. But yeah, they have like all this like things that make them look really nice. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 KYC, automatic burn, blah, blah, blah. So basically it's like a better version. I don't know why. I looked at a YouTube video comments, which for some reason is not here. Yeah, this thing. It was this Tommy guy, right? This guy. I thought that was Jesse Eckel, but it's actually Tommy. Uh, I can't tell because he's got his hand over his face. Also, I don't really know what Jesse Eckel really looks like. So anyway... Uh, his comment, his commenters all kept spamming negative shit, and then I think they're now that I think about, it, I think they they're just doing because they want to tank the price so they could buy more or something. So anyway, I don't know if there's a maximum supply. I do not know if this APY will actually go down over time. That I cannot find any info about that. I suppose I was too lazy to really ask in the Discord. So I guess I guess we'll I guess for now we'll see. All right. I'm, just to be safe, I'm going to assume that there's a maximum supply, and then they'll also tank. 
uh, when the API does go down. However, there's a very good possibility that it doesn't have any of that at all. This might actually be forever 392.5,000 API forever, which is what I personally want. And of course, if it's going to be like that forever, then there has to be there has to be an infinite supply too, just like all the uh, just like Titan, all the Titano forks. And what I find interesting too is their treasury value is already almost a million dollars, right? Titanos is actually we're on we're on Binance Smart Chain, so I can just access their treasury right here. See, Titanos treasury is already uh, twenty point six million, twenty point seven million. So they're already doing really well, right? These guys are doing really well. So. All right, very good. And of course, you see the circulating supply right here. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But I'm definitely going to purchase some of these clowns. Uh, yes. see. Yeah, I think I could buy like one or two rings, right? And then later tonight, I'll buy a little more too. All right. Uh, so, and then Titan just had a pretty large drop as well. In fact, I actually need to add this to, now that I'm going to be doing uh, ring finance, which is ironic because I was so disgusted with how the stupid pink sale pre-sale public sale went all right I got I got set ring all the way to up here uh, I'll put ring I'll put ring right below where do I want to put it I'll put it right above Poseidon on my uh, deck screener chart you know I used to actually you know I used to not really like deck screener but now I really like it now that I've been using it for a while all right there we go all right so let's see. Okay, so we know that this thing launched March 10th, right? So one year from that would be March 10th, 2023. So I don't know. My, I mean, at this point, you can do, you guys and gals can do whatever. But what I'm personally going to do is, let's say I decide to put a lot more money in those, right? Hypothetically, uh, especially because you know money's a little tight, and right now I'd rather stock up on Poseidon. So, what am I going to look for? In January and February, I'm definitely going to do a much deeper dive. I'll likely have done, and will probably definitely do, another, you know, ring financial finance video. I call it Revisited 2023 or whatever the year happens to be. So, I'll definitely be doing that. I'm definitely going to find out what's going to happen with the APY and uh, maximum supply. If there is a maximum supply and the API is dropping, I'm definitely going to start offloading like my Seifu Seifu for, <laughs> Seifu for I'm going to start offloading my ring finance money at that point. I'm going to I'm going to basically cash out, right? Uh, if it does not do that and it's actually like Titano where it's just infant forever, right? Oh yeah, oh whoa, oh. it's it's off to the races. I'll definitely still take probably like profit like instead of like a large amount maybe 25 because i was going to pull out like 50 to maybe at 75 percent depending on you know what i find out but instead maybe i'll take out like 25 percent you know get a little something going right but you know at that point this basically becomes like you know like like titano on steroids right but like better so we'll have to see maybe some of you guys and gals can maybe do the, a little bit of research and <laughs> On my behalf, because I'm too lazy to do it, and then just uh, go in the Discord where I ask about it politely. All right. Obviously, if they just ban you for a simple question like that, that's actually a red flag. Uh, but I mean, for the most part, I don't see why they would ban you. It's like, hey, I'm you know, I'm trying to look at the documentation. Is the, is it is the APY uh, going to go down after a year, or is there a maximum supply? I mean, it, these are simple questions. But aside from that, I mean, I kind of like their back end. I'm pretty sure it's a copy and paste of, like, all the other Ring Financial uh, dApps or whatever. But so far, I'm looking, I like these numbers, all right? And it's a rebase every 15 minutes, and there's really not much more to say. I mean, you've got whatever this Tommy guy is. Uh, I don't know who this one is, all right, if I can find his YouTube. I don't know who this guy is. I think I might have seen him before. All right, you know what? I gotta give you guys... Ooh, that's odd. Up next crypto, 229 uh, people. Uh, okay, this is actually a spam comment. Uh, with all these big companies involved, okay. Here a lot of trade. 
So I back on new open ideas. How oh, then you mentioned before staking de delegating ring fighting news on uh, whatever what Yeah, so they also are doing some other stuff too, so uh blah, blah, blah. okay, so this is a pretty big so I mean I I mean there's always gonna be some fake subscribers, but I assume most of these people are real, so yeah, forty one point eight thousand views since eight, nine days ago, so actually what does he do? Okay. Like? Oh god, I hate, this is why I don't, this is why I hate autoplay. So, he does some tokens, he does some other stuff, he likes to do uh, NFTs, that's always a big thing. I don't do NFTs because they confuse me, alright, but I know they're really good, alright, but I'm not really an NFT guy, and then, I don't know, he does a lot of weird stuff, uh, so that's good. And he obviously gets a lot of good views doing it because obviously everyone's searching for it. Yeah, so this is a solid YouTuber, but yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to actually, uh, actually, it would be worth it, too. How much would I make if I actually put in 10 right now? This comes out to 605,000. What about after six months? Jesus. 9,129. I mean, this is a really good return, right? Because you go from very low three digits to very, to almost the end of the uh, four digit scale, about to hit five. Jeez. All right. Whoa. How much is a thousand dollars? Is it thirty? No, I gotta buy sixty of these idiots. Sixty-five. So I don't have a thousand. Well, I technically could, but that would mean having to dip into a lot of. I'm not gonna do that. I believe it or not, I've been buying up like Libero every day, right? You know, using my daily, you know, two for profits that I've devoted to that. I could actually use that to buy more ring every day. Alright, and that would take me like a little bit. I could also actually start pulling money from Playmates as well. I might actually consider doing that. Okay, so if I put in six, if I somehow bought 65 ring right now, yeah, this would be worth basically a little under $4 million. Assuming I don't ever touch it and I wait literally one year. Uh, but if I do six months, I have. 59.3k. That's kind of like a ridiculous amount of money, don't you think? That's a really ridiculous amount of money. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Alright, 2.8. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, you know what? I, you know, I've seen the, I'm seeing these idiot ring uh, Seifu forks popping up all over the place. You know, I probably should actually invest in at least one of them. So I might as well just do this one because it's the most latest one that I know looks kind of legit, right? It hasn't rug pulled yet. And it's already been out for basically two weeks, right? Because I really don't like putting a lot of money, especially on a brand new project, all right? Because that's when the rug pull risk is highest. I'd rather, I don't have a problem buying high at a higher price if I know it's more le more likely to be legit, all right? So, yeah, all right, and plus, you know, they're doing pretty well from what I can tell, so unless, unless one of you guys finds out that there's some kind of scam fake numbers floating around, definitely let us know. Yeah, I'll, I'll start actually, I mean, I really want to up my Libero bang, that's the thing, but, you know, I'll buy some ring, uh, ring file, whatever, I mean, it doesn't have to be a thousand, I mean, I'll put like a few, I don't know, I'll, 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 I'll see what happens, right, I'll let God deal with it, and he'll just tell me what to do, and I'll just do it, but... But that being said, the reason why I want to try this is because there actually might be a possibility that, yeah, this is exactly like Titano, right? In terms of tokenomics, and then it's just going to be like this forever. 392.5 thousand APY a year, uh, a year forever. Yeah, I, and because you have the taxation system in place, yeah, I don't care that the APY is that high, right? I mean, there's a huge... Because I know this, I know the the... Bitcoin hyper pump and dump cycle is officially over, right? Because Wall Street and the central banks have their full hand manipulation in the markets now. So something like what happened in 2017 basically will never happen ever again, all right? I mean, big, like, look, Bitcoin is not worth 41 point whatever. It's supposed to be worth like at least twice this amount. All right? I saw all these cryptocurrencies, all right? But it's not going up because, you know, JP Morgan and the central banks are basically like pumping and dumping this shit. All right, and they buy their stupid little futures and options throughout the whole world, right? Through Deribit, Ledger X, etc. They take positions and then they and then they trade according to that and dump the entire market or pump the market. 
That's why you're seeing. That's why you, you. That's why when things don't make sense, like it should go up, but it goes down. But it goes down, but it goes up. That's exactly the reason why. And there's nothing you can do about it because our, at least here in America, our government's a fucking piece of shit, right? There's no, there's no accountability. Uh, the November elections aren't even out for like another, like seven months basically, six and a half months. And even then, I think I I think Saint Nick is only gonna be running in Arizona, Florida, and Idaho, all right? Because he's just getting started, so. That, that's going to be a while before we can, you know, do something about these banks. Assuming we can, right? So anyway, check out Ring Financial. Uh, we did a, a little more thorough thing. That's because I actually want to, I'm actually going to try, I'm actually, actually, can I buy this right now? I don't know. I'm gonna, I, I could probably buy almost one ring. I would have to check by Printer Financial because that's on buying Smart Chain and then pull from that and just buy whatever ring I can buy now just to try it out. But yeah, I wouldn't mind putting a thousand bucks in this and just set and forget about it, all right? Just see how it goes. You know, I'll probably play with their calculator a little more too. All right, so the next uh, video, what, what looks good? Yeah, we'll do this. This looks nice. Yeah, I, I like this. You know, I, I, I like numbers, right? You like numbers too. So the next part I'm going to do is repath.finance, which is on the Metis blockchain. I think I could have sworn I did another one, unless I'm confusing it with Argo Finance. I don't know, is that on the Menace chart? I don't even remember anymore, man, because all this crap is all over the place, man. They're all starting to blend together. All right, so I has actually got some pretty nice APYs on that blockchain, too. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to move to a new, not yet to another blockchain, right? But, I mean, it's still compatible with MetaMask, right? I had the thing just pop up and say, hey, you want to add this blockchain, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, okay, that's nice and convenient. Uh, but yeah, that has like pretty insane APYs, anywhere from like 26% or something up to 77%. The price seems like somewhat stable, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look in that video. All right, see you next video. Check out Ring5. Of course, I'll have all these uh, links. I'm probably not going to link to the documentation because it obviously doesn't really tell you much. So, yep. And of course, uh, they can, uh, when you click the buy ring, I'll take it a bog swap. Um, so... I like I like bog spot. The problem is I don't know how to use like they have too many buttons here. Auto tax and then slippage. It's like what I I just do it manually myself on Pancake Swap. So but yeah. See you next video. Check it out. Like, subscribe, share the video. I thank you to all the new people that are coming in. You know, we're gonna grow like mad, right? As as long as these uh new types of DeFi 3.0, 4.0 hyper APY stuff projects comes out. I'll definitely cover, like, hopefully what I think are the most legitimate ones, right? And we'll grow together, and then, um, I don't know, we'll have jumps in con someday, right? You know, we'll wait, I'll wait till like, I have, like, 500,000 subscribers or something. Because yeah. I don't want to have just, like, 30 people at jumps in con. That, that, that does just feel a little weird to me, right? I at least want to see, like, maybe 500 people, right? And, and then basically, I don't know, I'll, I'll just... I don't know, I guess I'll do a little rambling speech, and then we'll, uh, I don't know, and then I'll just start answering questions, right? Just do an AMA, and then it's like, yeah, I just hang out. That's all we're going to do, just eat food and just hang out, right? And then, you know, I don't know. And I kind of, I kind of eventually, like, have, like, you know, very legitimate cryptocurrency projects, you know, you know, get a booth or whatever, and they pay me to help at least compensate for the expenses, and of course, you know, I'll be counter programming CPAC, right? C crap. So, you know, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. All right, see you next video. Thanks for watching.